Unit 5. Under the Sea Students' Book, page 58 1. Listen and say the words. Then check with a friend. 1. Dolphin 2. Turtle 3. Anchor Four Octopus Five Seahorse Six Seal Seven Starfish Eight Shell Students Book Page fifty eight two Listen and correct the sentences. Look, a dolphin. And over there, a turtle. Wow. It's beautiful. I love the sea. But are you sure this is where the next letter is? The clue says we have to dive down and get wet. But the sea's so big. The letter could be anywhere. I'm not so sure. That octopus looks clever. Let's follow it. Ah, uh, it does look clever. I think you're right. What about Horax and Zelda? Don't worry. They don't know we're here. And don't forget that Buster is looking after our boat. So nothing can happen to us. Student's Book, page 59. 1. Listen, read, and write the names under the animals. The Great Auk Great Auks were seabirds. There were lots of them on the islands north of Britain. Their food was fish. People wanted the Auk's meat, feathers, and eggs. Now there aren't any great orcs. The Baiji. Baijis were dolphins from China. But they weren't sea dolphins. They were river dolphins. A long time ago, the river was very quiet. There weren't many people, and there were lots of dolphins. Now there are lots of boats on the river, and there aren't any dolphins. Student's Book, page 59 2. Listen and say Great Orcs were seabirds. Bygees weren't sea dolphins. Their food was fish. The river wasn't very busy. Student's Book, page 60. 1. Listen to the song. Tick the fish that are in the song. In my 
my bed There was one on my mum's head <laughs> Fish, fish everywhere On the sofa, on the chair Quick, quick, Sue and Frank Get the fish back in the tank On the mat, it was really big and fat. Yuck! There were red fish on the floor, five or six, or maybe more. Fish, fish everywhere, on the sofa, on the chair. Book. Page 61. 1. Look, listen, and draw lines. Sue, where were you at three o'clock? I was on the beach. And you, Bob? Were you on the beach? No, I was in the sea. And where were you, Jane? I was on a boat. Were you on the boat, Tim? No, I was on the beach with Sue. And where was Emma? Was she on the beach? No, she wasn't. She was with me. We were in the sea. Student's Book, page 61. 2. Listen and say. Were you in the sea, Sue? No, I wasn't. Was Tim on the beach? Yes, he was. Where were you, Bob? In the sea. Were there shells on the beach? Yes, there were. Was there a shark in the sea? No, there wasn't. Student's Book, page 62. 1. The Explorers The Trap I can't see a letter. What about that giant shell over there? Good idea. Maybe the letter's in there. Let's have a look. <coughs> Hurry up, Ben. Is there a letter there? No, I don't think so. Let's look in a different place. Ah! Help, Lucy! I can't get my arm out. I'm stuck. I'm sorry, Ben. I can't open the shell. Oh, no! It's Horax and Zelda. And a shark. I'm scared. <laughs> Come out, my beauty. <laughs> oh, I don't think the shark is very happy with us, Horax. What? Not me, you stupid shark. The children! Get the children! Oh! Help! 
That shark doesn't like Horax. No, I don't think he was happy in Horax's cage. Thank you, Octopus. You're very helpful. Finally. Now we can go and find that letter. Look! Look at the fish! It's the letter S. Now we've got our fourth letter. Student's Book, page 63. 4. Listen and say. S. 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 Sh. 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 Sam gets some short socks at the super special shoe shop. Sam gets some short socks at the super special shoe shop. Student's book, page 64. 2. Read and listen. Check your answers. Story time. What Christine Found Christine lives on a small farm on an island near Ireland. Her best friend is Ryan. Ryan's dad has a big farm next to Christine's parents' farm. One evening in July, there is a big storm. Early next morning, Ryan knocks on Christine's door. Get up, Christine! He shouts. Let's go treasure hunting on the beach! Christine gets up quickly and they go to the beach to look for shells and other beautiful things. Suddenly, Christine shouts, Look! There's something in that net over there! Ryan runs over and they find a small bird in the net. The bird is black and white with orange legs and it has an orange and black bill. What sort of bird is that? says Ryan. I don't know, Christine answers. They run back to Christine's farm and show the beautiful bird to Christine's dad. It's a young puffin, he tells them. Puffins hunt for fish in the water. They can fly, and they are very good at swimming. There were lots of puffins on the island, but now there aren't many. Why not? Christine asks. There aren't many fish anymore, says her dad. The children get a box and put some grass in it and then put the small puffin in it. Christine's mum gives the children some fish and they feed the puffin. In July and August, Ryan comes over to Christine's house every morning and every evening to feed the puffin. It gets bigger and bigger. One morning at the end of the summer, there is no puffin in the box. Where is it? Christine asks her mum. I'm sure the puffin is with his friends out in the sea. Will it come back next year? asks Christine. 
I don't know, her mum says. It's a year later. Christine is looking for shells on the beach again. Suddenly, she can hear Ryan. Come quickly! He is shouting. Christine runs along the beach and then she sees them. There are three puffins on the cliff near their farm. Christine is sure that one of them is their puffin. She is very happy. <laughs> <laughs>